the pists of Pyeongchang may be blinding white with snow as the Winter Olympics kicks off in South Korea, but among the ice rinks and bobsleigh tracks stands something completely different, the darkest building on the planet. Lurking between the competition venues like an angular black hole, it looks like a portal to a parallel universe, waiting to suck unsuspecting ski fans into its vortex. But this is not the latest high-tech defense against North Korean attack. It's a temporary pavilion for car giant Hyundai, designed by British architect Asif Khan, using a material developed in Surrey. Described as the world's largest continuous nanostructure, the building has been sprayed with a coating of Vanta Black VBX2, a super black material that absorbs 99% of the light that hits its surface, creating the illusion of a void. It's like a nanoscale coral reef, says Ben Jensen, chief technical officer of Surrey Nanosystems, which has developed the material. Photons get into it and they bounce around within its structure until they're all absorbed. The optical cavities in the reef are around one thousandth the width of a human hair. The material was developed for architectural application after the interest stirred up by the launch of the company's original Vanta Black S Vis in 2014, which it controversially licensed exclusively to the sculptor Anish Kapoor. Made of vertically aligned carbon nanotube arrays, hence the name Vanta, the substance was invented for space and defense use, to reduce atmospheric distortion in telescopes and cut out stray light refraction from polished lenses. But Kapoor saw its potential for his perception bending sculptures, describing it as the blackest material in the universe, it's literally as if you could disappear into it. His exclusive deal to use the material raised eyebrows in the art world and prompted artist Stuart Simple to develop the pinkest pink and glitteriest glitter, available for anyone to buy on the internet, with the specific exception of Kapoor. It just seemed really mean-spirited, said Simple and against the spirit of generosity that most artists who make and share their work are driven by. Kapoor responded by posting a photo on Instagram of his middle finger, dipped in the fluorescent pigment. The level of interest truly really took us aback, says Jensen. We were inundated by architects and designers asking how they could use Vanderblick, with ideas for everything from museum interiors to hiding unsightly cabling runs in the ceiling.